morning internet hatch 61 here just got back from a day up in new hampshire up in jaffrey new hampshire hiking mount monadnock my favorite place uh, it is a beautiful area uh, you can pick a trail that has a lot of traffic or very little traffic uh, i picked the one with a little very little traffic it was very nice but while i was hiking i want to share with you which bag i used for the day uh, it's a little different than the backpacks that i done before uh, this is from Maxpedition. This is the Maxpedition Jumbo Versa Pack. It's a good size pack. I've actually used it before for an overnighter. Uh, if you don't mind going minimal, it's a good bag for that. Uh, it does have a lot of versatility to it. One of the great parts is, is that it's a sling bag. So when you wear it, it rides behind you. There's this nice little addition that I put on. This is the Janus pouch that they sell separate and I put that in line so I keep things that I need to access all the time in here you know whether it's your cell phone whether it's a pocket knife whether it's whatever uh, I got a flashlight knife uh, some first aid stuff in there uh, but it's great but when you need the pack and unlike a regular backpack that you have to take off to access the contents this one here at any time on the trail you just spin it around and you get all your stuff so that's what I really like about this you do have to get used to the fact that you're only carrying your weight on one shoulder and they do make the packs for right and left hand so that's that comes in handy but great pack and once you get used to you know you're only carrying on one shoulder uh it's, it's not too bad at all uh, about the bag itself like i said i got the little janus extension pack on here that thing's great carries plenty of plenty of gear then it has a side pocket a side pocket carries a full-size nalgene bottle which you're gonna need water on the trail and inside here there's also a stainless steel mug that you can use to either drink out or prepare food with cook in anything else it nests right in there and the nalgene fits perfectly right in top of it on the top pouch i keep it's a zippered pouch here i keep some tissues power bar a uh, pair of reading glasses you never know when you're going to need those on the trail it's tough to be able to see sometimes when it's really dim out there uh, it has a front zipper pouch which I have bandana cigarette lighter uh, these off deep woods wipes coming great because the bugs uh, bugs are getting bad already here in New England uh, mosquitoes will carry you away sometimes but nice little zipper pouch you open it up it's got this huge bucket this is all 1050 denia too so it's very durable in the front little pouch here I don't keep much I just keep a regular traditional compass it goes in there this front zipper pouch I have more more power bars uh, you find that I give you know I probably give away with the you know these more than I eat myself but it's good to have them on the trail I keep a magnifying glass uh, comes in handy for a lot of different things including reading small print uh, keep a Leatherman in here and a little Leatherman tool and there's also fire starting gear in here uh, all kinds of different fire starting gear knife shop and there's water purification tablets fingernail clippers uh, all kinds of odds and ends side pocket here it's got pockets all over it. it's got some pals webbing on it some pals webbing over here oh well, it's got this nice little clip that you can attach your keys to uh, i carry a life straw Great for drinking out of any stream, pond, any kind of body of water. You can drink out of a mud puddle for crying out loud. It's still going to purify the water. In this side pouch, I carry a monocular. You know, good to be able to see some distance when you're out there. And some duct tape. And a few bags of fishing gear. There's fishing line, weights, hooks, uh, all kinds of stuff in there. And at first I used to think, ah, I'm never going to that but i've actually used it once came in pretty handy uh ended up catching some trout with it it was fun uh the main pouch has a storm enclosure so if it's raining out it's going to protect you somewhat uh in here i have all kinds of freeze-dried foods this is a uh stove a little uh butane propane stove gets in this tiny little Tiny little thing here. A buddy of mine hooked me up with these some years back. Uh, they were cheap. They're on Amazon. He told me about it. He ended up getting me a few of them, so I got these in all my packs. Uh, 
I have a EMS poncho, it's a stasher poncho. You can make a shelter with it, you can use it as, you know, a poncho. Uh, it's from Eastern Mountain Sports, great little addition. I've got the SOL uh, bivy, emergency bivy, it's a two person bivy. I have fuel for the stove and two drinking cups. If for some reason, you always got to have sporks too. For some reason I run out of uh, paracord, I got more paracord in here. Okay. I usually also have a uh, one of the emberlet stoves in here, but I took it out to do a test the other day, so I'll put that back in because it's good to have. Uh, and on the back side, most of the uh, Maxpedition gear comes with this. It's a concealed carry pouch. I keep first aid in it because when I carry my my firearm, it's always on the outside. I like to have it on the where well, you've seen it in some of my other videos. Uh, so I keep first aid in here instead. I also keep wire ties. Uh, it's a great bag. It really is. Very comfortable to carry. Very durable. Holds a lot of stuff. Uh, if you're looking for a good, uh, I mean, you can call it whatever you want. If you're looking for a bug out bag, a get home bag, a uh, just a day pack, a hiking bag. It's a great little bag. It really is. Uh, comfortable to carry. Uh, carries plenty of stuff. You can go out and, you know, sometimes I throw my emo hammock in here. Sometimes I throw, depending on what I'm going to do. Uh, great little pack. So if you're looking for a nice day pack, get home bag, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it, uh, the Maxpedition Jumbo Versa Pack. Can't go wrong. Thanks for joining me out here. It's a beautiful day here on Cape Cod. Uh, I was going to do the video up in the mountains, but the mosquitoes when you sit still were too, too bad. So I came back home and figured I'd come down here at Nets Point. Gorgeous area. Uh, nice calm day. So good choice. So again, thanks for bringing me, bringing me along. Thanks for coming along. Uh, I appreciate it. It's good to have you folks along and have the company. Take care now. This is Hatch 61. Have a good day.